If x, y, and z are positive integers, is x minus y odd? So let's think about this for a minute. We know that even minus even is even. We know that odd minus odd will always give us an even number. But we know that even minus odd gives us an odd number, and we know that odd minus even gives us an odd number. So if x and y have different, as it were, polarities, if one is odd and one is even, then the answer to this question will be yes. But if they're both the same, if they're both even or both odd, then the answer to this question will be no. So we'll keep that in mind. Statement number one tells us that x equals z squared. Well, that statement by itself tells us zilch about y. And because we have no information about y, we cannot draw any conclusion about x minus y. This statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two tells us that y equals z minus 1 squared. Well, this equation tells us bupkis about x. We have no information about x now. So this statement by itself is insufficient. So really, this is a problem where it pays just to take an express train to the, the place where we're combining the two statements, because the individual statements by themselves are not sufficient. So now let's think about the combined statements. Suppose z is an odd number. Well, if z is an odd number, then when we square it, we'll get another odd number, so that means x is an odd number. If z is an odd number, it means that z minus 1 will be an even number. And when we square z minus 1, we'll get another even number. So it means that y is an even number. So in this case, x and y would have opposite polarities. And so the answer to the question would be yes. Suppose z is an even number. When we square an even number, we get an even number. So x would be even. If we subtract 1, z minus 1, that would be an odd number. And when we square that, we get another odd number. So it means y would be odd. So again, what we have is that x and y are opposite polarities. One is even, one is odd. So again, the answer to the question is yes. So whether even, whether x, whether z is even or odd, it will lead to values of x and y that give a yes answer to the question. So combined, we can give a resounding yes answer to the question. Combined, the statements are sufficient. And the answer to the entire question is C.